Hey guys, today we're talking pork chops and we're talking thick cut pork chops here. Look at how big and thick these are. These are about an inch and a half cut pork chop. We bought these at our local Rayleigh store, five bucks a pound for this because of the legislator said that our pigs have to have so much room to roam. So pork went up very expensive in California. Now these are perfect for pellet grilling. The reason why they're perfect for pellet grilling is because of pork needs to be cooked through and through. We're not worried about getting a super rare finish on these. We want to cook these through and through. One of the tricks with pork is pork's a much leaner. You can see it's a much leaner protein. It's a, it's, it's a finer muscled protein. It doesn't have the big, long, thick threads and it's a little tighter protein. So that equates to a little tougher, less moist. So I'm going to go ahead and these particular ones here, we're going to put them in a marinade. We're going to marinate them. We're going to use things like citrus in there, lime, orange. We'll probably put a little bit of wine in there, a little alcohol with it. And I'll probably, I made some applesauce and so we'll probably take the skins and the leftovers from that and drop it in the marinade to get some of that acid off the apples, some of that sugar off the apples into this to go as well. And then we'll season, then we'll season that up. We're going to go ahead and we're going to tenderize this side with a meat tenderizer and just Beat it like it was your redheaded stepchild. And then we're gonna go ahead and marinate them both equally and we're gonna cook them all on the same pellet grill. Oh, that's so satisfying to beat your meat. And this isn't just for the pleasure of it. There's actually a reason why we beat our meat. We beat our meat so that we open it up and we allow those things to get in and we tenderize it and break that up. We're gonna go ahead and marinate these. I made some applesauce. These are the skins left over. I'm gonna use that in my marinade. I am going to use things like wine, a little white wine, alcohol in this. I'm gonna use a little bit of apple cider vinegar because I want that higher acid in there. And I also like that little bit of vinegar taste, but it's not gonna take much. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to use some citrus because of we all know that limes and lemons and oranges have a high acid. They have some sugar in them and they'll really help break that meat down. If you take these, especially limes, and you roll them out, you kind of break that fiber up, you'll, they will actually do a little bit better when you squeeze that juice out of them. So we're just going to take that into our applesauce, wine, and vinegar. We're just gonna go ahead and squish that out. Get all that juice out we can. I like to spin those guys around and hit them one more time. Okay, now that we got our orange and lime juice in there with our pulp from our making of our applesauce. Now we're just gonna add some naughty rub in there because the naughty rub's got all the spices I want in this. It's got a little curry, it's got a little paprika, it's got some nutmeg. It's got all those things that complement pork very nicely. Give it a little taste. Nice. That's gonna pair very nicely. So we're just gonna go ahead and open a Ziploc bag. We're gonna drop these boys in there, these bad boys in. Those are the red-headed stepchilds that got beat. These are, our, these are our biological children here. We're not beating them. And in we go with that marinade. So now we're ready to marinate. Okay, there we have it. We'll mix that around a few times. Rub your meat, get all that marinade, get all those juices in there flowing, and put it in the fridge to cool it off. It's gonna be hot. Rub your meat, rub your meat, rub your meat. Rub. Let that get in everywhere. And now we're gonna go into the fridge for 24 hours, and we'll see you tomorrow for the cook. Okay, so it's been 24 hours. You can see they're dirty. We've got the peels from the leftover uh, must or whatever you want to call it, pumice from making applesauce. We put our marinade together. These guys are dirty. Let's go get these dressed up. All right, so marinated, rubbed down, ready to go on. And of course, to make my cook the best it can possibly be on a pellet grill, 
I'm using knotty wood pellets. Today I'm using our plum, and, plum almond mix. Can't go wrong with it. If you're in the area of Academy, go get them. If you're in California, Rayleigh's in Bel Air. And let's get on with these babies. We're at 400 plus degrees on our grill. We're gonna set these big fat dogs on like so. I'm gonna put these guys are a little bit thinner, so I'm gonna put them a little bit off the hot spots. I'm gonna turn my fattest parts towards the hot spot, my thinnest back. We're gonna set those boys on. We're gonna close that lid. We're not gonna look at them for at least 15 or 20 minutes. We're gonna roll them over. We'll check them then, so hang on. Okay, as you can see, we're done. We got that nice crust on these guys. They're still sweating a little bit, which is a good sign, which means we still have some retained moisture. You can see how beautiful those are. Let's go in and see how these are gonna taste. What do you say? Okay, cut that baby open. Looks like we've retained some moisture there. Now we'll go through the center cut, absolutely delicious. Check these out. We've got some retained moisture in there, which is nice. Now we'll just cut into this. We're getting some juice off this. We'll put that up, put a little bit of this homemade applesauce on it. Tender, juicy, delicious. Super simple, super easy way to cook these. You got to give it a try. We hope you enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button and comment down below. And remember, we aren't competing with other pellets. We're simply the best option out there. Go get Naughty Wood. Happy grilling. Rub your meat, rub your meat, rub your meat. Rub.